Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to be talking about Rivian and Tesla. So, a couple of videos prior, I made a video regarding about Tesla opening up their supercharger to Ford on February 29th. Well, guess what? Today, they opened it for Rivian. So, this is uh, from uh, X and from the CEO of Rivian. Super excited for this. We we'll began shipping free NACS adapters to Rivian owners in April, and compatible Tesla supercharger will show up in Rivian navigation when you plan a trip. Charging will be plug and charge with automatic billing, no apps required. So pretty much it's almost like Tesla. So this is great news for Rivian owners or someone that's who's uh, thinking about becoming a Rivian owner. So you know you're not just limited to just only Rivian charging network. But now you have had access to Tesla, which is great, great news. All right, so um, I'm going to show you guys. This is the here. So this is from Tesla website. It says here, ready to charge. Throughout 2024 and 2025, our North American supercharging network is opening to more automakers. As automakers transition vehicles to NACs, EV drivers will gradually be able to access supercharger using adapters provided by their automakers. Soon, all new EVs will come with NACS charge ports built in and adapters will no longer need it. If you do not have yet access, your automaker will be joining it soon for more information. So right now, before, before it was the first one, right? And then today, Rivian. And you see right here, coming spring 2024, you see General Motors. And then you see Volvos and then Polestars. All right, so we're going to see, this is Tesla right here. So Tesla is already ahead of the game. They're creating like the, the network right there. So anytime, before I bought my Tesla, one of the things that hold me back was, where do I charge? You know, are there gonna be enough charger for me, you know, when I plan my trip? But as you can see here, I'm gonna show, you can see this one and we're gonna look at Rivians, okay? And then we're gonna see other as well, you know? Any other automakers out there, they can build the EVs, but, to build a supercharging network, it's really, really costly and it's really hard, okay? So let's take a look at Rivian's here. So this is the little, like the lightning or I don't know, like a charging, whatever, the three things right here. That's Rivian's right there. Not bad, right? And then you hear Rivian Waypoints Network. The little dot right here, one right here. And then you get the Rivian Adventure Network. So that's the one that they're gonna be coming soon. But see, one, two, three. But look at this little green dot. That's Tesla right there. All over the place, guys. So this is great news for all of the uh, Rivian's uh, owners or potential owners. You know, so now you have no reason to not to own an EVs, right? So like Tesla was saying, it's not just a lot, a lot of automakers out there uh, teaming up with Tesla. So that way, you know, they... They're making the foundations, you know, for into the future, you know, go green, you know. There's no excuse for anybody not to buy an EV as as we know that like some of the prices now for the Tesla are even cheaper. They have like the used Tesla that's in the below 30s. The last time I looked was like 27. So if you can find one that below 25 from a dealership, that knock off another $4,000, right? So there we go. So really affordable, you know, easy, a lot access to supercharging really really happy for the partnerships and thank you tesla if anybody has any questions about this video free free to leave in the comment below but other than that thank you for watching if you like tesla evs uh news um feel free to subscribe and feel free to give a thumbs up all right other than that thank you for watching take care and i'll see you guys in the next video